Hello, and welcome to an overview of the Provider Relief Fund Reporting Portal, or PRF Reporting Portal. This video will demonstrate the registration process for the portal. For additional information, please refer to the Reporting Portal User Guide for registration. Before registration, you will need to have the following information readily available. One, the tax identification number or TIN submitted during the application process, which can be accessed on IRS Form W-9 or the business's latest tax filing. Two, provider relief fund payment information, including the TIN of the entity that received the payment, TIN must be a TIN that received a PRF payment as it will be validated during the registration process. And the mode of payment, for example, check or direct deposit, automated clearinghouse ACH. If check is selected, the check number is required. If direct deposit is selected, the settlement date is required. Three, the exact payment amount. And four, the TIN or TINs of subsidiaries if you are reporting on behalf of subsidiaries. When you access the portal, you will see a welcome message along with general registration guidance. Please note that the PRF portal is best compatible with the most current versions of Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, or Mozilla Firefox web browsers. Also on the page are useful links to resources such as frequently asked questions, user guides for registration and reporting, and the reporting and auditing requirements that you can also access. At the bottom of the page, you'll see important support contact information, hours of operation, and language assistance. Please note that the hours of operation are subject to change. When you first visit the PRF portal, you will need to register to use the PRF reporting portal. Registration is the first step in the reporting process. Please note that you will only need to register once for all the reporting periods as registration carries across reporting periods. Throughout the registration process, if you do not complete a required field, an error message in red will appear below the required data entry fields. We will now demonstrate how you can create your account to complete registration. To begin, click the register button. Once you click the register button, you will be brought to a terms and conditions of use PRF reporting portal page. After reading the terms and conditions, select the radio button to confirm that the terms and conditions are accepted and click next. Then you'll be taken to the registration page where you must enter your nine digit tax identification number, business name and contact information. All nine digits of the 10 must be entered without any dashes or spaces. If your TIN begins with a zero, please be sure to include it. Next, your contact information will need to be provided for all remaining required fields. Required fields are indicated by a red asterisk next to the field's title. The email address must be a valid email address that you can access and monitor regularly. All communications from the PRF portal will be sent to this address. The email address will also be used during every login to ensure your identity as part of the two-step authentication process. The username should be unique and be in the form of an email address. Input for this field is not case sensitive. If you are registering multiple TINs, there must be a unique username for each TIN. Complete the remaining contact information fields. Once done, click the next button. After clicking next, you will be asked to provide any subsidiary information if applicable. The on-screen question, will you report on behalf of subsidiaries that received a general distribution payment, must be answered either yes or no via the drop-down menu selection. Additional information on general distribution can be accessed via the link here. Clicking on a resource link will open a new web browser tab but this will not affect your registration process. However, please keep in mind that registration must be completed in one sitting and it has a 20 minute time limit for completion. 
click Next to continue the registration process. Next, payment information will need to be provided. Please note, this information is used for identity verification only. You may either enter the TIN that you're registering or if the registering TIN has a subsidiary, one of its subsidiaries TINs. Payment information must be for the TIN entered in the TIN of entity that received the payment field. When the payment information has been entered, click Next. The summary page provides a review of all information you just entered. You will see a warning at the top of the page that alerts you to certify all data before submitting. If all the information reviewed is correct, select Yes from the drop-down menu to certify and submit. Next, you must create a password for the account. The password must be 15 characters in length and comply with the password policy provided on the portal page. Your username is already pre-populated. It may be helpful to save the username, TIN, and password somewhere secure outside of the portal as you will need this information to log into the portal for reporting purposes at a later date. When done, click Submit. You will see a pop-up window that indicates the registration was successful. You will also receive a confirmation email sent to the contact email address provided during registration. As a reminder, you can refer to the Reporting Portal User Guide for Registration Assistance as needed. Also, you can contact the Provider Support Line within its available hours listed at the bottom of each PRF portal page. To continue reporting, select Go to Reporting. From here, you can begin the reporting process. This concludes the demonstration of registering in the PRF portal.